This is the most important time to be an explorer, to inspire young people to want to explore a planet that still is wild and still has wilderness. It is keystone to everything that we hold dear. The Okavango Delta, an oasis in the middle of a desert. An area so large, it can be seen from space, extending across three sub-Saharan countries in Africa. There, you'll find two National Geographic explorers on a fearless mission to protect the rich diversity of life that depends on this land for survival. Elephants, lions, and giraffes roam freely. Hippos and crocodiles wade through the waters. And explorers, Dr. Steve Boyce and Ajani Koshta, will do anything to help preserve their habitats. They lead the Okavango Wilderness Project. Northern Botswana, uh, Namibia, and Angola, these three countries share this giant river system, the top of which is completely unknown. And we're trying to rediscover that and create baseline data so that the governments of Angola, Namibia, and Botswana together can make decisions around protecting the entire watershed. Their expeditions take them through highlands and rivers. They can travel by bike, mokuru, or dugout canoe, and even on foot, recording data every step of the way. Their discoveries are then made public in their efforts to protect the Delta and its wildlife before it's too late. It is over a million people that live in these places. It is 200,000 elephants that live in these places. It is one of the biggest clans of lions that live in this place. It is biodiversity that is hard to imagine. It is 25 potentially new species to science. It is, it is so many things. Biodiversity is perishing because of humankind, but biodiversity depends on humankind to survive. And that's exactly why they fearlessly keep going back to continue their work, observing the changes season after season. The group, over 100 experts and locals, travels together for months at a time in their efforts to protect this region from poaching and slowly encroaching development. And it doesn't matter that they have to risk their lives to do it. You have to be in the moment to realize that, that, that your reaction will trigger the ultimate consequence. So it's about instincts. Every single day, every single moment, there's a risk. And if you're not in the spirit, then it gets very dangerous. So I think the Okavango itself, Mother Quito as we call her, yes. um, chooses the people that, that, that have the possibility to be in that spirit. Those risks were never more evident than the day a hippo put its tusks through Steve's Makuro, tossing him in the air and overturning his canoe. I thought it was a giant crocodile. And in fact, it's a hippo. I see a swill in front of me. Like it still could be croc or just the river itself. And then on the left, the water takes this big breath. It's just like a big hump. It's in the crystal clear water, this, this face comes up at my left foot and just boom into okay. the sky. But no matter the dangers they face, the resilient group never forgets why they do what they do. Protect the water, protect the wild. Letting urgency conquer the fear of losing the wilderness they know is so treasured and important. That's been a journey, this is a, it's a human journey. It's the journey of, uh, from the wilderness, into the wilderness, into the Okavanga, um, into your own mind. It's, uh, it's just unlocking human potential, it's everything, uh, it is. What we explore is the birthplace of religion, of science, of humankind. Uh, that, is, that is where we come from. It formed us, uh, the wild. Through their determination and their grit, the Okavango Wilderness Project team continues to display a fearlessness each time they return to the Delta. We hope that their story inspires you to be fearless and to explore your wilderness and preserve it for the future.